Nishka called a nigun. A nigun, if you're of writ. <laughs> a nigun is very special in that it doesn't have any words. Um, really something that has been cultivated by the Hasidic movement. You know, we have a belief that the whole world is a sympathy, sym symphony. And everything in the world, everything sings to God. We don't hear it. There's a lot of things we don't hear. Animals hear things that we're that not even close to hearing. But the whole world sings. We know the angels sing to God. The whole world's full of music. That's what's so beautiful about it. You know, they tell a story about the Alta Rebbe. The Alta Rebbe was the originator of the, uh, of the Hasidic movement of Chabad. And when the Hasidic movement first came out, people were very much afraid of it. It was not too far after Shabzai Tzvi, where there was a whole debacle of Jews thinking he was the Messiah. And the world was afraid of this new movement of Hasidim. And there were towns that were very much against it. The story goes that the Alta Rebbe was invited to speak in a certain town that was filled with what they called Misnagdim, people that were against the movement of Hasidim. And when he st came to the town, they asked him to speak, and he knew he would be talking to them. And they had many, many questions, and they were very animated, very opposed to the Hasidic movement. And the Alta Rebbe stepped up to the podium, and he addressed those that were gathered there, and he said, I know you all have a lot of questions. Before I answer you, though, I'm going to sing a niggin. And he began to sing a niggin. And he sang for a while. And when he finished, there was not one question left in the room. Everyone's question was answered. Sometimes the words get in the way. Sometimes it's all about feelings and emotion. That's what love is. Something you can't touch, something that has no emotion, no real body to it, but yet it's so deep. Music can do that. Music can touch a person in a very special way. You know, years ago, I played my guitar for a young girl who at 22, a car jumped over the curb and really turned her into a, a vegetable. And her parents were wealthy and they put her in a um, rehabilitation center. And I would go every week and actually a friend of mine had done it before me but he passed away. So after he passed away, I decided that he had asked me, so I decided to go and play for her, and I did. And every week, for an hour, I would sit and play, and I tried all kinds of music, secular, Jewish, whatever, to see if I could get some uh, reaction from her, and I really never did. But her father told me that she had made up her mind not to listen to secular music anymore. So she was really my best audience for one hour straight, 55 minutes. I played my guitar, one song after another song after another, and with very little reaction. But from time to time, a couple of times, she would get a massage. And the masseuse asked me, do you mind if I give her a massage while you're playing? And of course I said, no problem. Two different masseuses. They both said to me, they have no idea that when you're playing your songs, her body is totally different. And as much as I thought about not playing anymore, I decided I should play forever.
hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you did, please, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Push like and again, share. And again, I hope you found this both entertaining and informative. God bless you. Be well. Shabbat Shalom. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay happy.